The arms are in the middle of the kinetic chain, not at the beginning. I mentioned earlier that the golf swing is like whipping a whip. Uh, that means you've got a kinetic chain you've got to work with, but where do your arms fall on the kinetic chain in the golf swing? Well, they're right in the middle. First part of the kinetic chain in the golf swing is when you turn your trunk. Then the energy gets transferred to your arms, which pulls them down. Then the energy gets transferred to the head and then the toe, which pulls it around. That's the kinetic chain in the golf swing. It starts with your trunk. So your arms are in the middle. So if you start messing with your arms in the middle of the golf swing, you're just breaking that kinetic chain. What should happen is the energy from your trunk should move into your arms. When it moves into your arms, because each of them are acting as a lever in the chain, and that they act as a force multiplier. But when you start fiddling with your arms in the middle of the golf swing, I don't care if it's active hands, active arms, uh, trying to pull your arms across, trying to swing, whatever you're trying to do with your arms, you're breaking that kinetic chain and you're actually introducing a power leak in your golf swing. The best way to get the most power out of your golf swing, if you're treating it as a whipping motion, is to let it happen, is to let that kinetic chain do its work. It's to kick it off just like you would as you're starting to crack a whip. You just kick it off with your arm and everything else happens. I mean, if I was trying to crack a whip and then grabbed it in the middle as I was trying to crack it, what would happen? Well, nothing. I'd break that kinetic chain. When you're messing with your arms in the golf swing, doing stuff, that's what you're doing. You're breaking that kinetic chain. Right? It's the movement of your torso. That energy transfers to your arms. And then it transfers to the club. But if you're messing with your arms, you're breaking the kinetic chain. You're actually slowing down your swing, not speeding it up.